Elijah Squatter of the entire All right, brother. Squat! What's up Colossus Army? So today we're gonna walk you through how we both won our first powerlifting comp, how we got it to go so well, and how we really minimized our errors. Kyle and myself only missed one lift. We were very strategic with our planning, our peaking, and we're kinda gonna walk you through the little things that you might or may not know that can help you do better at your first meet, your second meet, or your third, who knows? You can do this in anything. All right, number one is sleep. I'm a big person of my sleep. Kyle sleeps pretty crap in all honesty, but he's a beauty, so whatever. He's, he's smiling back there because he knows it. So there's a dilemma, especially when you're rooming with someone, you want to mirror your sleep pattern. So if you're worried about your sleep the day before, something to keep in mind, something we actually did is we went down to the football stadium, we just stretched in the dark, got our eyes and our retinas accumulated to the dark, which helped us fall asleep easier because Kyle doesn't fall. He goes to bed later than me basically, so we want to go to bed early, get a good number of sleep. Now the number two tip within this, sorry I'm losing my tongue, is that the day before isn't going to matter as much as two days before. Now this is really important, I got this tip from a lot of my cyclist friends. So two days before you want to get your big sleep, the night before it's okay if you mess up, you only get five, six hours because of jitters, because of timing or other reasons. So that's something to keep in mind and something that really helped me and kept me at peace. Absolute huge tip guys, learn the powerlifting calls and learn to train them, train with them. So bring someone into the gym. We had our friend Liam standing there telling us uh, when we can put the bar down Dude, for the strong. deadlift. Yes! That's a PR! Shut up. <laughs> and uh, you know, went to actually press on the bench press. Press. Rack. The rack. This is huge because if you come into a powerlifting comp and you don't actually know the calls, you've never tried them, it's really gonna throw you off. So get in the gym and do it before the meet. So one thing I highly recommend um, is find out what kind of bar you're gonna be using because a lot of people actually use a deadlift bar in a powerlifting competition, but they've actually never used one during training, which is gonna throw them off. I highly recommend, this is something we got used to a lot, is pulling the slack out of the bar. Because if you don't know how to pull the slack out of the bar, it's gonna like start to fly up and you're not gonna be used to it and it's gonna throw you off a lot which could really damage your lift. Day before, you wanna make sure you guys carve up. The day before is your time to carve up, but another good tip, I'm the sleep guru today, is don't eat too many carbs and everything before bed, not because of carbs after seven will make you fat, because it'll kill your body trying to digest them. If you eat food too close to bed, you'll notice you'll get the hot sweats, you'll have trouble sleeping because you're forcing your digestion system to work too hard when you should be sleeping and recovering. Honestly, one of my biggest tips for you guys is do what you're used to. So with that being said, foods that you consume the day before, the day of, keep it something that you guys are used to eating. Um, Josh does some weird belt slap thing all the time and he did that for competition, it works well. Don't change up your stance the day before, the day of, because someone else tells you to. Um, with that being said, when we competed in physique before, we tried to do something because like everyone else was saying to do it, which kind of screwed us up a bit. And uh, you know, it's just best to keep it simple, keep it what you're used to. Don't reinvent the wheel. A huge tip, I have said this before, I'm gonna mention it again. Once you're refeeding, if you did do a cut or you cut water, you wanna make sure not to shove your face with water just because you can. Go slow when you first get it, do it in sips. You don't wanna completely thrash your system by flooding with water, which is being deprived of all of a sudden. You'll bloat up like a horse. So what you wanna do is have no more than a liter an hour, and I would say about a, two liters more than you normally have. So if you have six liters, have eight liters that day. Warm up room, do what you normally do. If you take forever to get warmed up, take forever to get warmed up. If you barely warm up, barely warm up. Do what you always do, don't go changing it. Don't go think you need to add an extra 20,000 pounds of warm up volume just because everyone else does it. Screw that, do you, and you will do well. This is a massive one. I'm actually gonna play a clip from Derek Tiller who has over 30 years experience who talks about this. You're having a bad day. They don't get it the first time. Now they can't make it lighter. So we got all that extra stress on the second one. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen so many guys get thrown out of competition because their opener's too heavy. 
passes. Don't be a moron. I read an article about this. I don't know if it's true, but apparently someone in the warm-up room ripped the rep and they go, that's a new PR. You don't want to be hitting PRs in the warm-up room. Just get nice and jump, then to your first lift, which is a little stepping stone that you should hit 100% so you don't fluke out of the competition. One guy there that we were kind of uh, walking around with and we friended missed his first bench due to a technicality. So he decided to up it regardless. He missed that one as well and he decided to go for a third attempt. Thankfully he got it, but I would have Avoid doing that. If you miss your first, I would hit your first again likely because you don't want to flunk out of your first meet. If you're a more experienced lifter and you know you did something stupid, you can probably make that jump, but you guys should be very safe if it's your first meet. All right, a big tip for me is communication and to have someone there to support you. Not necessarily for the support aspect, but for the timing aspect. Me and Kyle sat around and kind of screwed around with our thumbs for about eight hours before we actually did anything. Be prepared to do something. Bring a Monopoly on your phone. Play some Flappy Bird. Something. This sucked because we could have actually went back to our hotel, chilled, I could have studied for my exams. I could have had someone there to text or call me when it was about time for me to go on. A lot of waiting when you want to lift up. We didn't really have anyone come with us, so that was kind of an issue. And even more so, if you guys are warming up in a separate room, you want to make sure someone's there to kind of coordinate time to let you know how long you have before you get on stage. You don't want to go get nice and warm too early or too late. All right, so depending on the type of personality you are, you may want to consider getting a coach or not. Also, if you're very sure of your lifts and your ability to jump, Myself and Kyle, we know each other pretty well from training with each other, so we were helping calling each other's numbers and saying, hey, I think you're a little heavier than this, or let's take a breath and put it down a little bit. For one, I would kind of got excited with my squat and I jumped my depth, so for me, it probably would have been smarter for me to make a lighter call, noticing that I was doing that, trying to be extra safe. So just bring someone with you to be there for you, hold your music for you while you're getting amped up, kind of just give you that little bit, last bit of motivation, someone to yell, someone to get you psyched up, and someone to encourage you to do the best that you're really comfortable with. Powerlifting comps are so lax, they're so chills, everyone kind of cares about themselves, no one cares about you. Men's physique, bodybuilding, bikini, everyone's gonna be giving you like the death stare, like who is that, am I better than them, can I beat them? Oh, their conditioning sucks, oh, you're posing. It's like a really dog eats dog, but powerlifting is just, so chill, so moss use the term just because like it's just it's level, it's chill, right? Everyone's doing their own thing, everyone's getting hyped up for you, your competition wants you to hit your lifts. Uh, it's just a great time, so really enjoy it. Be there, laugh a little, listen to your music, just get psyched up and enjoy it, hit some new PRs and have fun guys. Thanks so much for checking in. If you guys like this video and you want to see how we did, see if we're actually kind of strong, uh, check down below, you can see some videos there. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, comment, and share. Peace. So I always grew up with an athletic background and a love for sports. I grew up playing hockey, baseball. I was a long distance runner all through elementary school. Call me Haymaker. Always going big. Yeah, you know the kid.